It's easy to mistake Tim Brown for a beekeeper, but this Green Hills resident will be suited up for a different reason. The invasion of the 17 year cicada. I, I have great respect for the cicadas. I just want some personal space when it comes to insects. I don't need them on my hair, uh, in my ears, on my neck. Dr. Jean Kritsky is the Dean of Behavioral and Natural Sciences for the College of Mount St. Joe, a university that clearly embraces the bug's emergence, as you can see by all of the artwork. They emerge when the soil temperature gets 64 degrees Fahrenheit and we have a nice soaking rain. Today would be great for that, except even though some places have 64 degree uh, soil temperatures, the the cicadas are not yet physiologically ready to transform into the adult. But in two weeks, as long as we don't see a cold snap or hot spell, Kritsky says they should be ready. We ran a meteorological model that we've developed and it's t selling us that we're expecting the cicadas to probably emerge around the 13th of May, plus or minus two days, so maybe as early as the 11th and as late as the 15th. We can expect the red-eyed insects with their loud buzz to overwhelm our trees for about six weeks. If you live in Anderson Township, like in 1987 and 2004, you could be among the first to start seeing the cicadas crawl out of their holes in the ground. That area, given the way the roads are paved, the amount of trees you have in the area, maybe a heat sink, and so their soil may be a little warmer than everyone else's. As for Brown, he may not get invaded first, but he's preparing for the worst. Yes, I live very close to Winton Woods, a lot of trees, a lot of open, uh, a lot of open green space, so I'm, I'm, I'm probably going to get infested. And if you want to have some fun with cicadas, maybe something for the entire family to do, Dr. Kritsky is encouraging everyone to download the Cicada Safari app. There is a bunch of facts. You could also take pictures and videos, send them in. They'll be examined by human eyes, and it'll help map where these cicadas are. Reporting live in Green Hills tonight, Karen Johnson, WLWT News 5.